Hi guys, welcome back to this YouTube channel, The Growing Developer, once again. In continuation with the Flutter tutorial that we have just started. Now, in this episode, we'll develop this kind of app, right? You remember the simple and sour app that we just made in the last episode? In this episode, we'll see how we can add an app bar, how we can format the text in an app. In our app and how we can add some action buttons in our app right we'll see how to add some colors and how we can change different different aspects of some widgets that is provided by flutter so let's dive in the flutter tutorial course and continue learning In the last episode, we saw how to create a scaffold widget. What does material app do and what does a scaffold widget do, right? Then we saw what a center widget can do. Center widget aligns our child in the center of the screen, right? Now this is one thing. Now let's see how we can design different different components or rather how we can use different different components of flutter to make our app more beautiful and more demanding now first of all now let's see how we can style this text now this text that you can see here looks very small and not very reader friendly right so let's add some formatting to this text for that, let's get inside the text widget and put a comma after the string. Now every widget in Flutter takes some parameter that you can see here. It has strut style, text align, text direction, locale, soft wrap, overflow. Each property has its own functions, right? So for styling, we have a property known as style and as you can see here, it it takes value of text style, right? I'll click enter. Style takes a parameter of type text style. Now, in this text style, we have different different properties like color. Now, in color, can you recall what was the method to define colors in Flutter? Yes, it was colors dot and you will see some predefined color set up by flutter let's give it a color of red maybe or rather just try giving blue color right let's stick with blue right now Let's just run this up again and you can see as it refreshed we got a blue color text here now put a comma here if you want to know the parameters that it can take and press ctrl plus space and you can see different different parameters that this text widget takes for all the parameters let's go to font size now this font size we have to just write the value of font size in decimal let's give it a 30 just around this once again and you can see the text is now increased in size let's give it 40 so that it is more readable to you right so it looks good right bit of formatting to our text now next very important and widely used uh, parameter is font weight now let me just show you once again now this font weight takes a parameter of type font weight right so let's just 
right font weight and it takes the parameter of type font weight so we'll write font weight dot now these are different weight values for font where w900 will be for bold font and 100 will be for light or thin right so let's just give it w100 and let's just run it again as you can see that now font is very thin now the weight which i prefer is w300 as it give just a very rich and readable look so there you go w300 now let's see what other properties do we have decoration font family background letter spacing so let's go to letter spacing so as you can see the type is double double means any float value or other any decimal point value so in letter space let me just write two here and I'll once again run and you can see there is spacing between all the letters in the text so that's for the text widget now for scaffold let's see what all parameters do we have for the scaffold press control plus space and you can see background color app bar bottom navigation bar floating action button bottom sheet and all the very different different parameters to it let's just play with background color now once again how to define colors we write colors dot and we got all the predefined colors in let's give it some green accent maybe let's just save it so there you go now to make it look more attractive let's just change the color from blue to white so there you go you can see we can just customize the colors very easily here now let's try changing the color to orange accent let's just rename rename this app and you can see orange or it looks more better right more appealing and better than previous green color now what else do we have in scaffold widget see it's now your choice you have to play with them right what you have to make sure is that app bar will take a widget which is of type preferred size widget bottom navigation bar will take a widget type floating action button will take a widget type whereas drawer will take a widget type drawer drag start behavior will take drag start behavior we'll talk more about types in later sections of videos or in later upcoming videos as we dig deep in them now let's just uh, try giving some floating action button maybe so yes we have a floating action button now what is a floating action button floating action button is a button that floats on the screen you can decide the position of the it so n flutter they have already made a floating action button which follows the material design guidelines so we have to just write floating action button it's a widget that is pre built by the flutter only right on pressed it is null right now that is it will not do anything when it is pressed let's see what else does it have now let's see what else does it have it has background color child it's first let's just run and see what does it do for us there you go we got a floating action button that doesn't do anything when clicked why because on press this null right so let's just do one thing 
what else does it have it has background color so this blue doesn't look good right let's try giving it a white color maybe there you go looking better right now let's see one another property that it is having some shadow here can you see this let's try removing this or rather adding it so we have a property known as elevation so elevation decides the shadow effect that it will have so let's give it five and run it nothing happens let's give it zero now then let's see what happens so as you can see the shadow is removed so if we take one value then you can see some of the shadow and if I give 10 value you can see the shadow is increased that it is elevated now this shadow gives a very good and attractive 3d look so now we can see our app is taking shape now what is missing in this app of course a lot of pages are missing what what makes an app complete some navigation or some title or some something which gives the branding of the app right for that we have another parameter that is app bar app bar now this app bar will take a widget known as app bar now as you can see these widgets are already defined by flutter already structured by flutter that implements material design that is the beauty of the flutter framework which we are studying let's just save it now what does this mean that this scaffold will have an app bar of type app bar that's it so what it should show us just a plain app bar let's just run it and see what happens and there you go you can see an app bar now notice this that app bar is perfectly placed on top of the screen and perfectly sized. That is because it implements material design that that is the guidelines that Google has laid down. Now press control plus space again and you can see different types of parameters that it can take. It has elevation. It has background color. So let's just change the background color now. Which color should we take as we are going with orange and white only so let's give it some white color and we'll just run it again and you can see white white doesn't look nice right so let's change the color theme and let's change all the Whites with orange and orange with white. This orange accent, right? So let's just give it orange accent. Here also orange accent. Now let's try giving it a run. And there you go. We changed the color so easily but the app bar color is white so let's change it to orange accent now let's see there you go looks more appealing looks more good see how easy it is to make and uh, design the app in flutter now this app bar without any title is nothing right it just takes up the space so let's just add some title in this app bar title now tell me what type is the title 
title is actually made up of some characters right so it is a string type so to for displaying text on flutter screen we have text widget and whatever we will pass in single quotes and text widget will be shown on the screen so let's pass flutter app or rather let's write the growing developer let's just give it a run and you can see the title on this app bar now this is our first app looking very cool very nice and you can see it is following the material design so by writing this much code on only we have created a screen and flutter and next coming videos will design it more okay. in next coming videos we will see how we can add some elements on this screen rather than just text we'll see how we can align different different elements and how we can provide it different different decorations to the components in the screen so that's all for today hope you like this video don't forget to share the video if you like it please subscribe to this youtube channel as it is very new and your support means a lot thank you and have a nice day goodbye